I mean, thus far, I think we're 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 in position to accomplish our goals. Our daily goal is just to get better. Simple as that. Um, to go one and zero in everything we do every day. Do we do that? No, but we feel as if we do that more often than not, good things are going to happen, and that's what you're seeing right now play out. Um, I mean, there's still a lot of time left in the year, a lot of time left in the regular season. We're just fighting to get one more game, get into the conference tournament, and then see what happens from there. They're the reason we're here. Um, without them, we don't have jobs, if you want to say. Um, it's about the relationships for us. I mean, we love basketball and we love the com competition, but it's about building those relationships and helping them on their journey. And, um, you know, it's not just for four years. It's, I like to say, until I'm done, the good Lord wants me back. So uh, it's all about the relationships. Um, I don't know if you're going to necessarily find another player quite like him. Um, I've been privileged to coach Paul Reynolds, David Langan, who were all Americans in my time here as an assistant coach, Wayne Lennon, who was a freshman all American. So we've done a good job, I think, of going out and finding guys who may get overlooked. Uh, Brian was a late bloomer and he was someone we tried to get when I was an assistant. And then just, you know, we were able to continue that relationship and fortunate enough to have him here. But, um, you know, you don't necessarily go out and try to find him. You try to, you have an idea as a coach what you want your program to be. And we're going to be different next year, obviously, not only with losing him, but losing Terrence Braxton, Derek Charles, Tulu, and Michael. So replacing all five of them, not just Brian, is going to be, you know, an interesting uh, piece for myself and my staff. I think, you know, we brought in eight to nine new guys. Uh, at the beginning of the season. And it took some time for these guys to mesh. I mean, you look at our young guys, you know, Greg Bloodsworth, Andrew Shepard, Mike McCants, Bry Hopkins, Josh Watts, Josh Hall, um, Brandon Obadike. Those young guys have done a good job of listening to the upperclassmen, the seniors who've been around and a part of the program and following their lead and their example. Um, but I, I mean, you know, each team's different from year to year, not only us, but other teams. And I thought what we had coming back and putting some pieces around them that we were capable to have the type of year that we're having right now.